Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. I have a request from my audience coming from YouTube comments that says, how do I replace a touch screen on an HP NB laptop? So this here um, is the foldable screen that folds all the way to the back as a 360 folds. As you can see that the screen is on the other side and the keyboard is on this side. So the request was, should I change the screen itself, like just the glass, or should I change the full assembly? My recommendation is definitely a full assembly because it is a touch screen and if you change it not correctly, then you would have this ghost touching on the sensor, which is, you know, can be a problem if you're going to use the computer by uh, is it a touchpad or a touch screen? So my recommendation is to find a U screen, something like this, and then just change out the full assembly in this model here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'd like to point out to you to take a closer look at the model number here. As you can see, it says HP NV X360. The model is 15M-DR00. 11DX. Okay, so that is the model on this one here. So let's go ahead and get started. What you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver. I do not have the. They there should be like a rubber stopper here that covers up the screws. So you need to peel that thing off. For my case, the top and the bottom is already off. So if you have this rubber here, what you want to do is get a plastic prying tool, kind of go underneath that rubber and peel it off. You want to peel it gently because you want to re-tape it again after when you're done with the screen replacement. All right, so using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm just unscrew all the screws here. We need to remove the back cover to get into the screen. Again, this is a request from the audience in YouTube. Um, one of the comment to ask if I can do a video tutorial on how to do a screen replacement on this HP NV X360. And this is how it's gonna do it. Now, if you have a request that you want me to show it to you, please comment below. Uh, make sure you're a subscriber, so make sure you subscribe. And like the video if I was able to help you and then just comment below, let me know. I'll do a, a tutorial on how to fix your computer for you over the internet. Now I'm using a metal prying tool. You can find like a plastic one if you have anything just to kind of pry it open to remove the back cover. All right, simply just pull it right off and the entire back cover would be just removed. Now the next step, as you can see, this is the internal part of your computer. Here is the hinge, the left and the right. We are going to remove that and replace with the new screen, a replacement U screen, sorry. So the first thing I like to do, maybe disconnect the battery, get your Phillips screwdriver here. We are going to remove the screw. One screw goes in there, second screw goes here. Now you can just simply lift the battery up like such and that's how you disconnect the battery. Okay, and if you want to do a battery replacement, look it up here, it says SA04XL. That is the re replacement for this battery. Now if you're look interested to know about the hard drive, to upgrade your hard drive or recover the data that is your M.2 drive, this is where all your data is, and you can get one of those, um, one of this USB adapter. You insert, okay, like so. Am I right or wrong? Okay, like so. You insert it, and then you can plug it into any different computer to recover the data, just like a USB thumb drive. Again, if you're not sure where to buy all the tools and the 
um, the tools and the uh, the replacement part, check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay for this repair. Now let's continue with the screen replacement. Let's go ahead and unscrew. So there are four screws in one top right corner hinge. Once you remove that, disconnect the clipper. Just kind of flip it up. I'm using my fingernail to do that. And then the next is to slide that flex cable out. All right, as you can see, it is ready to be going. The next one here is the hinge on this side. The three screws on your left. So once you have removed that, the next step is to go ahead and disconnect the clipper here by simply just lift it up. And this one is pretty much for the webcam, I believe, the microphone. And then you do have two of the Wi-Fi antenna. A is the one on the top. And then M, the little black sticker here, you can see that A symbol, which is the white, goes on the top. And then the black, which it says M, that goes to the bottom. So just go ahead and lift it straight up. And that's how you disconnect the Wi-Fi. Now the very simple step is you need to push the hinge off to the back. So kind of push it all the way to the back at 90 degree angle. And you should be able to slide hopefully you can slide the keyboard out just like so. And the other side here you can just kind of slide it out just like that okay there goes your full assembly on the LCD screen and here is the keyboard for the full set of it with the motherboard okay and then if you're interested to know where the RAM is it is hidden underneath this metal bracket all you have to do is just lift it up okay and then here comes your ram that's the ddr for eight gigabytes of ram and then to reinstall this thing back again uh, all you have to do is to make sure that you clip it back onto that metal bracket so you can see that little metal bracket there those are the bracket that you need to clip it back on that cover all right, that's pretty much it. And again, um, I know I kind of off track here to explain the battery, explaining the hard drive and the RAM. But technically, if you want to replace the screen, I highly recommend to get a full assembly like this because you do not want to just change out the glass. Uh, you would have a lot of trouble later on. Okay. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time. And again, if this video is helpful, please go ahead and comment below. Uh, smash the like button for me if you will and then subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching until next time. Bye now